Hi, I'm Dr. Kate Heim, a board-certified toxicologist. I want to talk to you a bit about how to prevent nickel allergic reactions. Nickel allergy is the most common form of skin allergy. That's simply because nickel is used in many everyday items which are often in direct and continuous prolonged contact with our skin. Some of these items may release a lot of nickel. If you have been diagnosed by a medical doctor as being allergic to nickel, your doctor will advise you on how to treat any symptoms and prevent new reactions. Once you are allergic to nickel, you will always be allergic, but you can easily avoid getting allergic reactions. Nickel allergy may develop if items with high nickel releasing properties are in direct contact with your skin continuously over a prolonged period of time. It's most frequently caused by ear piercing, but can also be caused by articles such as other jewelry, watches, and items worn next to the skin for a long time. While nickel allergy can cause discomfort, it is not life-threatening because it causes a delayed type allergy, which cannot trigger anaphylactic shock. The most common symptoms include itchy red skin or a rash at the site of direct and continuous prolonged skin contact with a high nickel releasing item. If you're experiencing a nickel allergic reaction, the first thing to do is remove the item that may be causing it. In order for a nickel allergic reaction to occur, the nickel must be released from the item and enter the skin over time. For this reason, it is the quantity of the nickel released from an item, not the amount of nickel in the item that determines if an item may cause a nickel allergic reaction. To minimize the risk of future nickel allergic reactions, wear only items made with low nickel releasing materials such as high grade stainless steel, including surgical stainless steel, titanium, and solid, not plated, gold, silver, or platinum. A small minority of people are hypersensitive to nickel. They may be prescribed a low nickel diet by their doctor, eliminating naturally occurring sources of nickel such as nuts, oats, beans, chocolate, and some processed foods. You may also notice that some cosmetics and moisturizing creams are labeled nickel-free. That is not to say that nickel is in cosmetics if the label does not say nickel-free. Typically, cosmetic ingredients must be listed on the label, so if nickel is not listed, it should not be present. Read and follow the label instructions, and if you have any concerns about any ingredient, contact the cosmetic manufacturer. By paying close attention to what you use and wear, you can prevent nickel allergic reactions. For more information on nickel and nickel allergy, visit the Nickel Institute website at nickelinstitute.org.